Hello there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to episode 20 of my 2022 reboot of Fallout Shelter. Okay, so first things first, let's uh, collect all those skill upgrades, and we've got a new dweller coming in from the wasteland, ooh, who has quite a high st strength stat. Uh, and endurance is not too bad either from a training perspective, so not bad at all. Okay, let's get her straight in for uh, the strength. Oh, and we've unlocked another room, Fandabby Dozy. Okay, do we have any outfits? No, not really. I uh, should be able to give her a gun though. Uh, we can give her that rusty laser pistol. There we go, and let's collect our items from the wasteland quest trip. Okay, sturdy metal armor recipe and surgeon outfit. Nice. Okay, back into our vault we go. Over the course of today's video, we will be doing quite a few bits and pieces. Uh, this episode is about 15 minutes long, just a shade over, uh, so quite a lot of content to get through. Uh, vault expansion-wise, there is not going to be uh, much expansion to the vault itself. However, if you want to check out where the vault currently is, I have uploaded pictures to my community tab so you can see the development of the vault as we're moving forwards. And eventually there will be changes to the upper levels of the vault as well. Uh, just quickly checking how much time there is until these guys are going to level up again. So two and a half hours. Now each time a dweller levels up in a training room, it does take longer. And something else you can do to reduce that is upgrade the training rooms. Now we haven't done that yet. Uh, but let's get another weapon crafted, and I mean, who am I kidding, it's probably going to be another rusty laser pistol. I mean, enhanced sawn off shotgun is a good one, uh, but at the same time, rusty laser pistol, guaranteed 7 damage, uh, it's not a bad weapon to be crafting. Oh, and we have a raider attack, okay. Can we see any of our highly advanced dwellers? We can see one there, let's get them across. And can we see any other pets wandering around? There is a dog over there. It's just finding them. Okay, they're running across. They should hopefully get there before that door is broken because, of course, we have fully upgraded. There we go, just in time. Are they going to get to shoot? Yes, they are. Very good. Okay, so we can zoom in. That means we've got our sniper rifle and our assault rifle there doing damage. One is dead already. And continue firing. And this is where uh, having high up dwellers as guards is highly efficient. Now, there we go, all three dead. Didn't even get out of the vault door. Uh, now, they're not even by any shape or form fully upgraded dwellers. Uh, we got a rusty hunting rifle there, nice. And of course, some caps. Okay, so they can carry on wandering around. We'll collect food, seeing as that's what was being stolen by the raiders, but they weren't even able to get out of the first room. Now, did we bring back any gear that can be equipped? Uh, leather armor, strength one, endurance two. There we go, that puts up that dweller's strength. Uh, almost levels the endurance with strength, but that's fine. And let's have a look at our quest list because what we do want to be doing is continuing with quests as we move along. Uh, I will say I have done most of the Halloween quests as well. Uh, obviously these haven't appeared in the episodes yet uh, because the footage needs to catch up with where I am in real time. And I do have a lot of footage uh, to make a lot more episodes. So 7 out of 7, stop the presses. Uh, we've got 6 out of 15 here, which requires level 11, so return to Vault 333, get some answers. Uh, maybe that one. Uh, right, okay, Mysterious Stranger Time. Uh, we're going to find him. I doubt it. He gets very hard to... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Bur oh, yes, 1,832 caps. Jackpot time. Nice. We all like a little bit of jackpot. Okay, going back to the quests, uh, we've got In Hot Pursuit, so two Nuka Quantum Colas, and it's a daily, but we only have two dwellers that match the requirements. So let's go back. We've got First Down, Guardians of the Wastes, Death Claws, so terminate the Death Claws. Game Show Gauntlet, that's 21 hours. And also for Game Show Gauntlet, the questions and answers are posted online. Uh, so if you ever do do that quest and you need a little bit of assistance with the questions, do do a Google search and you will find the answers. There is a lot of information about Fallout Shelter online. 
all you need to do is a step of research. Now, going back to what we're doing, uh, deciding, let's put her maybe in an engineer outfit. Let's uh, get the uh, stim packs allocated and the radaways. And are we going to start it with a quantum? Why not? We've got 25, so let's get the quest immediately started and underway. Okay, here we are inside this mission location, and it seems to be a teeny tiny one. Okay, oh my goodness, it was Slaughter, a charnel nightmare. While you were fighting Frank the Tank, his sister came here and attacked. Oh no, Overseer Patel is dead, and we're next, unless you stop her. Kill Regina Rage. Okay, so we got another boss person to kill. Now, one of the other rooms we are going to be adding to the vault before the end of this episode is the room for agility. Because when you are on a quest, agility is what determines how often your dwellers shoot. As well as that, luck is what determines how often they get critical hit chances. So you want good agility and good uh, luck for your quest squads, as well as endurance for health and, of course, strength. Uh, but the main uh, perception is also uh, another important one as well. That determines how quickly the criticals fill up uh, and luck tags along with that. Uh, so some important skills to have. And as you progress further, you do need to start looking at your quest squad and deciding uh, where to put them into training rooms, get them leveled up uh, when you're not playing uh, so that they perform better when you're on quests. Now we've got our two nuke quantums and here we go. We have a boss in here. Now this is normal mode, not survival, so the damage from the nukes uh, will be fairly minimal. But what we do want to do is get her killed. So let's get everyone focusing on her. There we go. And there we go. I think that's everyone shooting at her now. So she should be dead before she throws a grenade. She is. Lovely. We're going to need to get a stim pack on this one. Okay, Daniel was getting a bit of a battering. Okie dokie. Let's uh, get these uh, wastelanders killed. Get these uh, raiders killed. Death must come quickly for them. There we go. We have one left. We are nearly there. As I said, it was a very small uh, quest route and runes. Uh, and again, it did include a boss. We got some rare raider armor there. Nice. Uh, some wonder glue. Nice. And, of course, the obligatory caps. For only 536 of them, mind you. Now, there is another shiny there, as well as a body. So, let's pick the... Oh, wow. whoop de doo We got a pistol. <gasps> so exciting. Okay, Perception 2, Agility 3 for that strong Raider armor. So, that's good. Uh, we'll just level this person up. Uh, there we go. Didn't get the best health benefits there. But as you can see, the agility is non-existent uh, for some of our quest squad. So, we do want to get that improved. Now, have we picked up everything? Yes, we have. Let's head back to the vault. So not too bad, it was an enhanced 3-2 pistol. Ooh, so it might do two damage. whoop dee doo doo Okay, we've got plenty of people needing leveling up. Oh, not bad endurance. Uh, so let's get him leveled up with the uh, Wasteland gear and then get him physically leveled up. Put his uh, outfit back on, there we go. Oh, again, pathetic endurance for this individual, uh, but it is what it is. And later on, you can kick out all of your low stat dwellers and get new dwellers in if that is a strategy that you want to play. Or you can go with the being nice overseer and keep everyone regardless of their levels of health. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Right, okay, let's get that taken. Oh, we've got another. We still haven't looked at what room we've unlocked either. Uh, let's get this guy leveled up. There we go. And of course, I know it's the agility room that we've unlocked and uh, we will get that added to the shelter. Now, I forwarded onto the next day, uh, so that was a log out and log back in again. Here we go, we've got some more skills to collect, so these people are leveling up their endurance even more, which is always good, and our guys are back from their quest. So let's collect the information and stuff. All oh, right, I thought there were blueprints there, clearly not. Okay, so we can go back to our quest list and we can potentially send these guys out, can we? Yes, everyone is now an appropriate level. Uh, however, we may want to look at their health first, but look at that pathetic agility. Uh, so let's go back, cancel that. Uh, where is it? No, that person has reasonable agility. There we go. So it is Daniel Wilson. So let's bring him in for... Uh, oh, yes, of course, we don't have agility yet. So 
what do we do with him for now? We'll just dump him into, there we go, strength five, that'll do. Oh, we've got a rad roach infestation. Well, that's handy. It's in one of our most highly defended rooms. So shouldn't be a challenge getting that wiped out. Lovely stuff. He's finally made it. And done. And they all get their nice little experience points boost. Lovely stuff. Now, see the Mr. Handy? He will help in all uh, incidents in the vault. Uh, if he dies, he costs 2,000 caps to repair. Okay, so we've unlocked the theme workshop. Sorry, we unlocked agility a long time ago. We just never built it. Okay, so we want to build it down here, but first we're going to need an elevator. So let's go across, put that in. There we go, and then get the agility room built uh, so we can start skilling up agility for our squad. Okay, so athletics room. There we go, and always build it double wide, so we might as well put another one in over here. Uh, are we going to find the mysterious stranger? Let's see. There he is. Lovely. 312 caps. Not bad. Seems to be every time you build a room, suddenly he mysteriously appears, because he is, of course, the mysterious stranger. Hey, hey. Okay, so now what we can do is we can drag our dweller down and get them in the agility training room. Uh, now let's have a look. This person needs upgrading. Okay, so level them up with the endurance gear. Uh, it's only to level two, so that's not too bad. Put that, uh, da -da -da, what were they wearing? Were they, ah, there we go, leather armor. That's what they were wearing. Okay, right. Just looking around. There we go, we've got another one here. Although her agility is actually very good. It's endurance that is significantly lacking. So uh, we're going to have to boot someone out or put her into agility. Let's put it down here for now and have a look at where our endurance is uh, for our various dwellers that are in the training rooms. So here we go. Let's have a look. Click on one of these. Oh, so quite high. Um, not too bad at all, actually. Uh, the only thing is what we have agility or strength. So perception two, agility three. So that's an agility person now. Let's get her plonked into the restaurant. Uh, let's get this person leveled up. Um, yes, let's get them leveled up. Okay, so swap out the outfit. Oh God, there's now another one that needs leveling up. This is where it starts getting a little bit crazy and you have to manage so many different dwellers. And we're only at 42 at the moment. Uh, imagine when you have 200, uh, it does become crazy. So 200 is the upper limit on your vault. Uh, you can't have more than 200 dwellers. Uh, but to be honest, by the time you're at that point, you should have training factories in place and the major resource production uh, rooms as well. Uh, so let's get that Raider armor back on and collect the power. Uh, good old Mr. Handy collected it for us over there, so that's always good. And let's get her added to the endurance room because her endurance is not very good. Okay, third person. What do we have here? Okay, so could probably do with a bit higher on the agility scale. Uh, where's she going to pop out? Uh, sorry, he, Jeffrey Young. There we go. Pop him down. And as you can see, in 24 minutes, she's going to be leveling up. Uh, or he. I can't actually remember now whether that's a he or a she. Does it really matter? No. It's a dweller. Okay, that was an accidental level up. It's always handy when it does that, but hey, it happens. Okay, scroll down, wasteland gear, there we go, nice big endurance boost, and then pop back on the radiation suit. Okay, good stuff. Now, that is quite a bit of stuff we have done over the course of this episode. We've expanded our vault a little bit. Uh, we will be doing more in future episodes. Uh, our radio studios are working away. Oh, only 20 seconds to go. Let's see. Are we going to get a Dweller from the Wasteland? I think computer's going to say no, because you have to tend to go through about 10 cycles of this before it actually gets a Dweller. Uh, but we'll see. Stranger things have happened. And the answer is... <gasps> reset of the countdown. So the answer is no. Okay, let's collect that food. And I think for now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as we move into the last minute of this video, we're not going to be doing a huge amount more, but let's give uh, the food a rush, see if we can get it maxed out. Yes, yeah, successful. Nice. We always love it when we have a successful rush. Let's see what happens on the other one, shall we? Oh no, we've got food to collect from there anyway. And that, I think for today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is enough. 
and that all leaves me to say is good morning, good afternoon, there's the mysterious stranger, good evening, and from me, Know It All Gaming, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my content everywhere, and until next time, I'll see you then.